I don't know if I have a fever. My stomach just does not feel good. I did not invite Rachel. Didn't think it was in the cards for me. It's a nice and sunny day. What is it? <laughs> oh my god. That is the Universal GI Illness Nightstand. <laughs> all the Gatorade, Pedialyte, saltine crackers. I had the worst stomach flu or something yesterday all day. The worst I've ever had in my whole life. I was vomiting and had severe diarrhea all day yesterday. It was terrible. I cannot even explain to you how terrible that was. I'm like so fatigued and weak right now from it. My body is like still hurting from all of the vomiting honestly um yeah i had that yesterday and pretty sure i got it from the emergency department because everyone had that in there and it's going around i brought it home with me just to finish off my rotation um today's monday <laughs> yesterday was sunday obviously and that's when i was sick but I have clinic today with Dr. Rasanya for cardiology. Um, I'm excited, but I asked him if I could come in in a few hours, um, like come late, and just because I'm like not 100% yet. I don't know if I have a fever. I keep like, I'm really warm and then I like will sweat through it and not have a fever and my cheeks are pretty red and I'm just like weak and dehydrated. So I'm gonna just try and see if I can just keep down some Gatorade and and whatever. I want some coffee because I'm having like the worst caffeine withdrawal headaches because I didn't have any caffeine yesterday. But yeah, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm sorry, I'll get more energy as the as the vlog goes on. But as of right now, I'm like so weak. Still, I have no energy for anything. Hey guys, what's up? I made it to clinic. Um, I've been here since like. 11 o'clock or so and then we're on lunch right now um i'm not throwing up which is great i got panera bread like i got some soup and a piece of bread and tea hoping that it'll all stay down guess who's back say hi hey hey guys <laughs> Dinner. Hi, I'm not that sick anymore. Oh, sleepy girl, that's me. So sleepy. They made chicken wings. Why isn't this focusing? I wonder if there's a bit of a KG, please open my door back up. KG says this is the flu room, so he shut me in my room. He's not wrong, but I don't really have the flu anymore. But I don't need my door shut. KG! Thank you. So what kind of treats you got me? Treats? Yeah, are you talking about eating something sweet? Yeah. Can I have it? Can what I is it? it? Just mini ice cream cones. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Can I have one, please? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, please. Hong says that he's killing me if I don't get one. I think he's gonna get me. Morning. Good morning, you guys. It is a wonderful, beautiful Tuesday morning. <gasps> oh my god heck yes thanks so much dude you guys check this out this looks so stinking good thank you kg mm. ah it's like 10 40 and i just finished editing ah oh, that took too long oof i'm very tired i'm just exporting the video i'll make a thumbnail in the morning and then i have to send it to the brand in the morning um but yeah i need to get ready for bed Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. We're in the hospital today. I'm doing procedures in the cath lab and also rounding on um, the doc's patients. Um, today, I don't feel like that great. My stomach is still really uneasy and kind of queasy, honestly. So it's not the best feeling in the world and I keep having like this massive headache. So uh, it's okay. I hope today like isn't super long. Um, and this queasiness goes away because this is not it. I feel like <laughs> at any moment I can either throw up or go have it come out the other end, to be completely honest. So my stomach just does not feel good. So, oh well, I'm gonna make some coffee 
um, refill up my water and head out the door. I'm not really in the mood to eat. Um, yeah, but good morning. Coffee is brewing. I'm gonna take this with me to the hospital. If I get hungry, I can make it. Um, it is like, these are so good. They're called a power cup. It is like amazing. You just put water in it and microwave it. Super tasty. I'm gonna take that. Good morning everyone, it is currently Wednesday. Today's gonna be a nice day. I have, so I didn't actually vlog at all yesterday um, at the hospital. We had a lot of patients to round on and then um, there were a bunch of procedures in the cath lab. And then between patients uh, for the cath lab, we went up on the floors and rounded again with Dr. Rasanya. We ended up getting out kind of early yesterday because my classmate and I were so like, all right, like let's go around, like let's, you know, get this done so we can like get out of here. But yes, I have clinic today and then I'm going out to dinner. I'm really excited. It's gonna be like a really cute dinner um, um, this evening with a few people and in LA. I am in clinic today. Thank gosh, not that big of a fan of hospital days um, on this rotation at least, just because they're very crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Hey. All right guys, we're in clinic right now. We had clinic all morning. Dr. Sonia's behind the camera. I'm saying hey. <laughs> um, yeah, we had clinic all morning. There were quite a few patients and then we had lunch. I had sushi for lunch because they had that at the hospital. Super tasty. Jonathan, would you like to be in the vlog? Maybe later. Okay, maybe later my classmate will agree to be in the vlog. <laughs> um, and yeah. It's a nice and sunny day. It's a nice and sunny day for Dr. Sonia. What else? Um, I celebrated my son's bowling birthday party. He did celebrate his son's bowling birthday party on Sunday. It was fun. I did not invite Rachel. He didn't invite me. And you know what's funny? I just invited him to my wedding, whenever that is. And... Hopefully in the next six months. Oh! You know what? I like your thinking, Dr. Rasanya. I hope it's in the next six months too. And kids in the next three years. Thank you. Thank you. He knows exactly what I need in my life. So we have the rest of clinic to do today. And then we get to go home. Maybe early. Yep, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, bye guys. I'm obviously home now. Today was a pretty cool day in the clinic. It was like, I don't know, just efficient. Got stuff done. Wasn't bad. We're gonna be in the hospital all day tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a good day. Um, but I stopped by CVS on my way home and I grabbed some things. I got some pimple patches, some more lotion, Listerine. Got lashes, cause I do my own lashes, you guys. And then I got some tanning water. I wanted to try it. I need to redo my lashes cause they look like a mess. And I ordered some on Amazon. I'm not gonna be here till tomorrow. Um, and I don't even know if I like them. So I like seriously need to redo them because they're just like really bad. I have not really shown how I do my lashes on camera. I'll like briefly show you. Um, but yeah, I do my own lashes. This Ardell like lash remover. If you do your own lashes with like the glue, you have to use this to get it off because you will just rip your own lashes off if you just try to take them off or wait. I glue them on underneath my lash lines. So I use this tiny little brush and just like brush this adhesive remover on the base. This burns your eyes so bad. So do not get this in your eyes because it hurts like, <laughs> it hurts. Just gonna brush that on and wait for it to do its thing. Honestly, doing my lashes, this has been the key to like looking somewhat put together without having any makeup on. I've been doing lash extensions for so long, um, doing them myself. I used to have lash extensions, like real ones, um, done and like for a few years and it ruined all my lashes. Um, and then I've been doing this for way longer and my lashes are all intact. They're fine, healthy. It's the Ardell Lash Tight Dark Adhesive. I don't get the clear one because it can look crusty. So I get the black glue and then I typically get Ardell lashes, but I could not find the ones like trios at the store so i ended up going with these because they actually look pretty natural and i wanted to try a more like wispy look 
Um, I got these from CVS. They were also at Sally's. I also met one of you at CVS. Um, you're working at the register. You're so sweet. Um, funny because like I was walking, I walked in and I was like walking through the store and she actually helped me get the lashes because they were locked up. I don't know. She's smiling at me and like kind of looking at me interestingly. And then I was just like, okay, like not going to think anything of it. Um, and then when I was checking out, she's like, I love your videos by the way. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like it just made me like so feel so good. And it's so like fun to meet you guys. Um, and uh, say hi, like if you see me, like please say hi. Like I, I really like meeting you guys. I didn't get your name, but it was so nice to meet you. And um, yeah, thank you for saying such sweet things. You're so sweet. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. I'm going to, yeah, wait for this to wear off. I also cut my own hair, surprise. Um, I, you know, like if you don't have time or money or like a hairdresser, then you just do it yourself and it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm sure if you looked at my hair closely, it wouldn't be completely even, but my hair is in a bun practically half my life. Um, and then also it is often just curled as well. So it doesn't really matter what the length is. Okay guys, I did my lashes. I did not show you. I just used that glue I was talking about and then I just like dipped the lash in and then put it lifted, put it at the base. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly, but this is scary. Y'all, I got my cap and gown. That's terrifying. Oh boy. Whoa. It says doctor. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, and I'm in a row. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I honestly like cannot believe this at all. I can't believe this, you guys. This is really honestly insane. I honestly want to do like a really casual, casual, casual sit down video of like how I got into medical school and like all the way to the end. And just like a brief synopsis, I guess, of my upper level academics and even the kind of student that I was in high school. Because I I know I've said this so many times, but I never ever thought this was possible for me. Didn't think it was in the cards for me until honestly, like I put my mind to it and, and it became it was like on my radar that I could actually do um upper level academics, you know uh it's just really crazy let me know if you want like a sit down casual video like that where i just like kind of talk about i guess the steps that i took to get here i kind of have a video like that that i filmed during first year i think of medical school um i don't really like it it's very i like tried to do like a formal sit down video but it was not executed well and I feel like I can speak so much more efficiently now and, and like tell you a better synopsis at this point in life. Please let me know in the comments down below if that would be of interest to you. I know my content's kind of like in a weird limbo state right now just because I have not been vlogging a lot of like medical content. It's kind of a weird obviously point in my life just because fourth year there's so much time for me to actually live my life. So I've been enjoying doing more like lifestyle content and kind of showing you what life is like when you're not just studying 24 seven. Um, obviously I don't really have anything to study for and my um, time on rotations is not as demanding as it used to be um, just cause we're kind of cruising and I'm just doing interviews and, and stuff like that. So it's not as crazy. So I, I do apologize that the content has been less educational and less like medical school related, but um, this is also the reality of what it's like being a fourth year medical student. This is something that you can look forward to um, because it is like so much more liberating um, than the first two years. If you have any anything that you want me to talk about in videos, like please comment it down below. I really, really appreciate your guys' like feedback and giving me ideas for what to talk about and go over in the videos because essentially I want these videos to be helpful for you. Um, I'm going to do a meditation probably um, to get me settled in, down into bed after seeing all that. And yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys in the morning. So um, good night. <laughs> You guys, it's so crazy here. It's such a crazy day. Yeah, it's already four o'clock. Crazy, crazy, crazy day.
We did half in clinic, half the day in the hospital. My hair is crazy. That's because it was quite a day, you guys. I'm, oh my gosh, there's so much snow on the mountain. Okay. Okay, where am I? I am just now leaving the hospital. It's five o'clock. It was quite a day. Um, I mentioned earlier, we had a half day in clinic, half day in the hospital. That makes for an incredibly busy day. Um, it was insane. Like I saw a lot of patients in clinics this morning and then my classmate went to start doing stuff at the hospital. And then I met him over there and um, so many patients, like so many consults in the ED. <laughs> I was very efficient with rounding. I got to round pretty quick with the doc and it's all good. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much snow on the mountain right here. You see all the snow? Done for today, thank God. I'm gonna head home and go to the gym and just relax the rest of the night because I'm pooped. Okay, I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Okay, goodbye. You guys, I don't know how I'm managing this, but I'm at the gym and I did like a massive leg day, even though I'm exhausted. Okay, that's all. Goodbye. what is up that's the end of this week's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's kind of like all over the place let me know down below if you have any suggestions for what you want to see in an upcoming video i am currently on my way to the snow and i'm gonna be vlogging so you'll get like a nice little snow vacation getaway vlog um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time take care of yourselves be kind to yourselves continue to work hard and all the good stuff okay bye